guys, Joe from One Up Reviews, and today we've got a sneaker review and unboxing of the Nike Crater Rim Pant. Before we get into this review, guys, if you're new to our channel, remember to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our latest reviews. Slap that thumbs up. We want to see those likes. It helps us with the algorithms. And drop some love in the comment section below. We try our best to reply to every single comment thrown out our way. Just want to take the time just to thank all our subscribers, new and old. Without you guys, we aren't able to do this. So thank you. Now let's get into it. So today we've got another look at another Nike Creators pack. Well, it's not part of a pack, but of the family of Nike's move to zero waste products, be more sustainable basically. Now we've got the women's Nike Creator Impact in football gray vault colorway. And we got this in the UK size eight, it's a European 42.5 and it's a US women's 10.5. Regardless of uh, how it looks, we're here to try it, you know. You can wear whatever you want. Doesn't have to be men's, doesn't have to be women's, you know, just wear whatever you want. And let's have a little look. Here it is, the Nike Crater Impact. Now, like a lot of the Crater sneakers that Nike have shown and we've done reviews of, they've all got this Crater midsole and you can see the little speckles, it's all there. This particular one uses 12% of Nike's recycled materials and you can see the little Nike grinds, that's what they call it, those little speckles of color. So we'll start with the outsole. Now this outsole is the same material of the midsole, of that recycled materials, the Nike grind, as I mentioned. You've got some traction at the forefoot here and at the back, and you've got a little shout out of Nike's waffle here in the middle. Going along onto the midsole. So again, this is an elevated crater in midsole unit. No, it's, it's not insole, it's midsole. And again, as I mentioned before, with the Nike grind pellets that you can see around, these are recycled materials. These are old Nike sneakers and they're sold, being used to good effect right here. Moving along onto the upper of the sneaker. So this sneaker is a range of mixed materials, mixed synthetics. You've got a lot of mesh. It's predominantly a mesh material around and you've got synthetic uh, suede that make the webbing that you can see here in the middle of the sneaker just overlapping the, the lacing system. You've got two different kinds of swooshes so you've got a stitched swoosh in the fluorescent yellow at the lateral side and on the medial side you've got it in the black. As I mentioned that there is a lot of mixed materials here you can see a bit of the heat pressed plastics along the sides of the sneaker and you can see it again at the back with this great fluorescent orange pull tab at the back easy access for your feet to get in the tongue nicely padded with the nike logo with the swoosh and the nike branding the lacing system is a bit different it's not your typical lacing system it's the fast laces and you can see it's just underneath this lace webbing that nike have so coolly called called it and in the insole you've got the nike pinwheel now that is nike's i wouldn't say their logo for cycling or sustainable materials but this is like their promise that at least 20 percent of the sneaker uses recycled sustainable materials as i mentioned this whole sneaker at least 25 percent of the sneaker is made out of recycled materials old shoes it's great that's a great call out from the brands that they are investing into the future of uh, of the world really because no one wants to destroy and create more pollution and waste it's just not that sustainable so we're here to just to give a big thumbs up to nike you know they have been pushing all these creator stuff all this nike zoom well that's not it's not zoom the jordan was the zoom but just to see that they put this project to project zero great effect and I can't wait to try these on. These remind me of the Nike Rushy Runs and we used to love Rushy Runs in our one-up reviews. Myself, Jeff, Chris, we had loads of pairs between us. It's a shame that it didn't really catch on, but this silhouette, it it's, looks like it uses the same last as the Rushy Run. Yeah, if it's anything like that, I can't wait to try these on. 
if I'm expecting the same comfort and durability as the other Nike creators that we've done, check those out, reviews out. We've done it in the past, you know, quickly, have a quick look. But this is the now, this is the future. Can't wait to try these on. Let's do this. When it comes to the fit, guys, I recommend that you get a half size up to what you usually wear from Nike. I am a UK size 7.5 when it comes to Nike sneakers. This is a UK size 8, as we mentioned. And yeah, these look so great on. Jeff pointed out that you couldn't really see the orange of the tongue, but as soon as you put your feet on, it elevates, you can see it, it pushes itself up. Where my toes are, there's a little bit of space. But I think that if I did get my true to size, my toes would be at the very top of the sneaker. It feels a bit tight. I think I just need to break it in a bit more. Uh, apart from that, these sneakers are quite comfy. They look cool. And you know, I'm con um, doing my bit to help Nike use sustainable materials and make a better world for us. Thanks guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow us at One Up Reviews with a Z at the end. All that good stuff. Until next time, peace.